Welcome back, villains. We are at one of my favorite lakes. This is Lake Winnipesaukee here. And I haven't been up here in a year. It's Columbus Day weekend. I usually do pretty good around this time of year. A lot of bottom baits. A lot of bottom baits indeed. That's normally what I like to fish here. Haven't really found out the shallow bite. There might be some smallmouth up shallow this time of year. But for now, I'm just gonna do some bottom baits. This is day one of three that I will be up here. Actually, technically four, but it's like three and a half because I get up here Friday night, leave Monday morning, and then you got Saturday and Sunday, obviously. The weather is not looking great, but we're gonna make the most of it. I'm going out for maybe two hours till it gets dark. See if we can pull up some fish today. Let's get right at it. Talk about a view right there, man. That's what I love about this place, just peaceful. A lot of houses on the lake. It's definitely more crowded in the summertime, but you know, you get out here in the fall, usually you get the water body to yourself wherever you're fishing. It's real nice out here. I'm on the way northern end of the lake, and so there's not so many people. I never really see a lot of boats out here. It could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, but let's go catch some fish anyway. We're a little more crowded than usual. I was debating bringing up my kayak, but I was like, you know, screw it. We'll make the most of it. I haven't brought my kayak on the highway yet, so I wasn't trying to have that stress. It's about a three hour ride from where I live. Fortunately, they do have kayaks here. They're just not the best, but like I said, we'll make do. So right now we're heading to the, my favorite spot on this island here. It's the bridge that connects it to the mainland. Usually do the best here. Although I haven't really ventured too far out especially in October, more so in the summertime. I'll take rounds around the island, maybe go off. This other side here is very windy, so the waves are a little more rough. But it's not bad once you get used to it. I got a couple different baits tied on here. Got a little shaky head here. Probably gonna save that for last. Got the old Sakoshi bug on a Ned rig. And then get the old Berkeley Stunna. I haven't used this jerk bait yet, but it looks really good. And I've heard good things about it. But I always like to start out with the old spinning rod. Got some weeds on that cast. That's what we're looking for. We're gonna look for anywhere where there's still live weeds. Cause that's usually where the bait fish are. And it looks like this is a good spot over here. Sometimes I find casting out right in the middle of this bridge is really good. Because as the currents come in, it's gonna push bait this way. And the smallmouth might be hiding, staging right here. Wait for that bait to come by. Oh, I got one. There we go. There we go. Little guy right there. That's a baby. It took us a little while, but we got one in the boat. Little smolly right here. I thought I had a bite and I just kept reeling in. I was like, eh, it's probably nothing. Sure enough, I had this guy on there and he was pinned pretty good. It's a nice little guy there. Thanks, buddy. First fish of the trip right there. There he goes. Hard fire for sure. I was right under the bridge here, so I don't know if they're going to be stacked up here or not. Just have to wait and see. Oh, we got weeds out there. That's a really good sign. It's actually a very good sign. And that's straight out here where I casted. It could have been closer, 
but I think they were pretty far out. But that's a good sign regardless. Although I am going to fish on the other side now. Because there's one spot I want to try before it gets too dark. Just on the other side of the bridge. Cast it out. Towards the waves. Caught a big smallmouth there last year. And I don't know. I just got a good feeling about it right now. Day two here, very windy today. Very, very windy, I'm out with my cousin. So, we're gonna see if we can get on some fish today. Starting out with the spinner bait here. A little bluegill color, kind of just imitate whatever, but color shouldn't matter too much, it's very windy. Shouldn't be able to see it very well. Oh, sh small mouth? That's a good sign though. Got one. Nice small mouth, dude. Oh, he spit it. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, right away. Freaking smallie, that was a nice one. So as this was a family vacation, I didn't get to fish the whole time, as much as I'd like to. Anyways, on day two, we went out in the afternoon and then a little bit in the evening. Didn't have any luck really, besides this one bite that you just saw. And yeah, that was pretty much it for day two here. Morning people, it was day three. Day three of the Lake Winnipesaukee trip here. And it's a nice one out today. It said it was raining on the weather, but obviously it isn't. It's beautiful out. A little chilly, but you can expect that in October. Not windy at all. Yesterday, as you saw, was super windy. We managed to hook onto a fish, but I only had like two one hour periods to actually go out and fish. So it wasn't too productive. And we couldn't find the fish in that time. But today, I got a lot more time to go and fish. So I'm thinking we're gonna be able to land some today. Sorry, get this out of the way. I'm thinking we're going to go around the entire island because basically where I am is an island. And we're just going to fish top water. We're going to fish top water right. We're going to fish around the shore. And since the water is so clear here, even if we're fishing in like 10 feet of water, the smallmouth would see that and probably come right up to the surface and grab it. And guess what? We even got... A loon color. Look at that. Perfect for Lake Winnipesaukee because it's almost known for loons. I wouldn't say that, but there's a lot of loons out here. That's kind of what I like to think of it. But yeah, either way, we're going to get right to fishing. Got a couple other things tied on. Just some bottom baits pretty much. But yeah, we're going to see if we can land some fish today. Let's get at it. Now, Whopper Plopper, notoriously good for smallmouth fishing. So I figured I'd try it out here. Never did much topwater fishing, just a lot of bottom baits. I found something that worked and I kind of stuck to it. But you gotta try things out, you know? See what works the best. The main thing here is just actually finding the fish. It's such a big body of water. And I'm on the northern end of the lake. Most of the fish might have moved south. I don't really know what happens in the fall time for that, but I know they pretty much follow the bait. And they're feeding a lot on bait fish. So if the bait aren't here, you're gonna have a tough time catching fish. But as you saw yesterday, there still is fish around. 
I just feel like some of them are more isolated. But then you'll have those schools of fish, which we're hoping to get on today. Now this is the benefit to getting out in the morning. You don't have any waves at all. Or just very little waves. Look at this. So much calmer than the other day. You can actually go around. I mean, I'm still getting pushed a little bit. But it's not nearly as bad as the other days. Which is perfect. So we're just going to keep making our way around the island. It's probably about a half mile around. So it'll take us a little while. But I'm thinking there's got to be a couple fish at least stacked around the island. by the shore. Freaking annihilated it. Oh. Everybody. That's not a bad fish. That is not a bad fish. I don't want to get hooked though. Here we go. We got him. That's an, that's not a bad smallmouth right there. That's like a pounder right there. Not bad at all. Destroyed the whopper plopper. Let's get this guy safely released. Oh, come on, buddy. Right on the top of the jaw. That's what you want. Beautiful bronze back there gave us an awesome fight here. Thanks, buddy. I'll let him go now. There we go. First fish of the day. So that's good to know. I was thinking of casting pretty much along, not so much towards the shore, but more coming maybe 15 feet off the shore. I'm just casting parallel because I figured the fish would be in deeper water. But the two fish that are of not bad size that I've hooked onto so far have been in pretty shallow water. So we might just have to cast pretty much towards the shore. That might be the way to go. She got soaking wet, man. Day four of, I don't know. It's day four today. It's not the, not the best morning, you know? really tired but i made an effort to get out today just because it's my last day you know um it's been slow it's been really slow and it's been like that a year before the last year i went here in the fall it was a little bit better the fish by the bridge a lot a lot of bottom baits and it was it was pretty much just kind of sit and wait until a fish comes and grabs your bait pretty much but now I'm finding a couple fish sparsely spread out. It's tough having a kayak in such a big lake. Because in reality, these fish can be all the way on the other side of the lake. Chasing the majority of bait fish. You're obviously still going to catch one here and there. But the best fishing is going to be where the bait is. But I don't know. We've had three fish so far. Two caught, one come off. And I'm still going to count that because that's just an effort well made. But now, today I'm thinking in the one and a half hours I have to fish before I got to start packing up. I'm just going to fish the back cove here in the island. We're going to try this quick and then head right back over to the bridge where I usually have my best luck. And yeah, that's, that's the plan for today. Just kind of taking it easy. Putting together couple things that seem to work for me in the past days and yeah that's the goal right there so let's get right at it i don't know how it's gonna be but 
We've had a good trip so far. Just not enough time to fish, I'll tell you that. But we ended up catching a couple and that's what makes it happen. So let's get right at it. Now I know there's been fish that have been in this back cove. This is where I lost that one two days ago. Or one day ago, I don't, I don't remember at this point. It doesn't matter. But I wanna make an effort back here to really see if we can find just a couple of those isolated fish. My cousin fished back here just yesterday and said he lost a nice one in the corner. And he knew it was a nice one because it bent the freaking hook on him. Obviously it could just be bad hooks, but I think it was a big fish. Those smallmouth fight hard, man. And I've never had a dinky little fish bend a hook on me, even if it was a bad hook, you know. So it's promising today, to say the least. I see a couple fish swimming around actually under me. I don't know what they are. That's probably a good sign. It's a perch swimming under me. That's what they were. So there's perch back here. I don't know if smallmouth are particularly keen on eating perch. That was a perfect eating size that I just saw. Very calm over here now. Take a few rips. Oh, no way. Got a nice largey. That's something you don't see too often, baby. Let's go. Got a freaking largemouth. Hell yeah. That's like, geez, we're always catching smallies up here. It's like a, it's like a pound and a half largemouth right there. That's a nice fish there. Look at that. Came up and annihilated that spinner bait. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. He's ready to go. Awesome. All right. So spinner bait was the move there. Just ripping it through. He's probably hanging out on that side, just waiting for some food to come back. We ended up slamming them. That's awesome. Cool. Okay, so that was pretty much the end of my trip up to Lake Winnipesaukee. It was pretty lackluster for the most part. We at least caught or hooked onto a fish every single day, so I consider that a big one in my books. I'm not the best bass fisherman, and I read a couple forums online and I just followed pretty much everything they said and spinner baits, bottom baits, top waters were all mentioned and all of those ended up prevailing one day or another. So overall, it was a pretty good trip. Tried some different things out. I'm I'm usually always just fishing Ned Briggs up here. I just that was my comfortable bait there and I would always throw that. But you know, I switched up a little bit this time, tried some different things and it ended up panning out. So I consider that a victory, you know. Anyways, if you guys are local to the area or anything and want to give me some tips because I definitely need some for next year when I go up, definitely well appreciated. But besides that, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's a little longer than the usual ones I put out, but it was, you know, it was a four day trip. Got to give you the full experience there, but I'm not going to bore you with just me catching nothing. So that's pretty much the fun stuff in the trip for this time. So anyways, drop a like if you like, drop a little comment and subscribe. Peace out.